So we screened We Are the Giant at the University of Michigan yesterday. It was a group of 50 or so students. And usually when you screen the film, it's about the Arab Spring, it's about stuff that's happening all the way over there, and people talk about it in that context. We Are the Giants, a documentary film about nonviolent resistance. We follow three different stories in three different countries, and we follow different revolutionaries in each of those countries. A subject like the Arab Spring, it was really big in 2011. It was something everyone was talking about a few years ago and kind of people aren't really talking about now. And so showing this film has been really interesting because you're showing it to audiences that have not heard about the subject, haven't really heard anything about what's going on. It would be very important for Americans to see because we really get a lack of perspective on just personal stories of people that we can sympathize with um, that are looking for the same things out of life that we are, that want to live in a peaceful country. I think it's so important to share these films with young people. There were some kids that came up to me afterwards who are uh, Arabs and they're freshmen in college and they were just like, I loved watching this. It was so great to see these women on screen being such strong people. Um, it was really inspirational. The film was very moving for me. I, I am personally like a human rights activist on campus. It really had a big impact. It, it was cool to see that like people are still advocating and this is still happening. It was a really personal film that showed different people's perspectives on the conflicts. It didn't feel like it was biased. People started asking questions about Ferguson, about the protests in Baltimore, about, you know, hashtag Black Lives Matter. And I'd never connected these things before. It was really interesting that, said, that these connections were happening, that these, it took these young students, freshmen at the University of Michigan to make that connection for me that I'd never actually made before. And so it's really nice to be able to show it to people and have them connect with characters they don't know and understand stories from the rest of the world. It gave us an opportunity to help us humanize the people that are often dehumanized. Um, and bring the conversation to the human level. Sometimes with difficult conversations and difficult issues, it is hard to explain them without people getting really emotional. And it's easier to do it through film and art. And to engage in a conversation, like an honest conversation, uh, was really cool. It was really cool. I hope it impacted some individuals in the world to do a little bit better. And I think that hopefully we did.